is the Leaders Anchor Show. Let yourself be inspired by real world leaders and their experience. Sharing knowledge is what it's all about. Learning from experience. See what real world leaders have to say. Welcome once again to the Leaders Anchor Show where we share with you inspiring motivational stories that will change your life from A and take you to where you really want to be. The best place of optimization where everything and anything is possible. My next guest, ladies and gentlemen, I'm privileged to have one of the young, outstanding individuals on this planet, Sabirul Islam. Welcome, Sabiru. Oh, thank you, Pa. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure having you, and I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited to have you here. Look at you. Um, well, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the cycle of success. I'm looking at this giant thing sitting <laughs> here. I'm looking at this book. And the first question I want to ask you, the, fir the very first one, how old are you? I'm actually 23 years old. I just recently turned 23 a few months back, and uh, it's been quite a ride. 23? Yeah. yeah. So when did all this start? Uh, well, I got into business at 14. I was in school and uh, just didn't want to go down the typical route in, in society. Because you get these young kids, you know, thinking, yeah, I get my degree and then I go become a, a, an engineer, a doctor, whatever. But I say to myself, why? Why wait till I got this piece of paper telling me I'm excellent in life, mm. that I'm, I'm you know, outstanding? Why not believe that you're outstanding from day one? Mm. And that's the sort of courage we need to have that inner belief that we are worth more than what society perceives us to be. Mm. And that is so important. So I set up my first company, a web design business at the age of 14, and that's oh. what led me on a journey to go into exploring more about my own capabilities because understanding the purpose of existence is something so important. Why am mm. I here? What is my purpose? The, the meaning of you know, my, my presence here in this world? What can I do to impact society? Nobody thinks like this. Not many people think like that. And it's up to us to be able to discover more about our skills. So I tried stock trading, enjoyed it, wasn't for me. Mm. Then I got into writing books. I wrote my first book at the age of 17 called The World at Your Feet. And mm. this book is to inspire young people that no matter the age, race, religion or culture, anybody has the ability to be extraordinary. And this is a self-published book. Mm. And this got later professionally published by Marshall Cavendish based in Singapore. But this book led to multiple opportunities worldwide to, for example, uh, how I got myself into you know, the African market in terms yeah. of opportunity inspiring the young generation. Yeah. I paid around 600 pounds to be on a magazine that went out to every single university in the UK. Yeah. And this was at the age of 17. And then suddenly the former first lady of Nigeria somehow out of the blue gets hold of this magazine. Wow. And she gives me a phone call saying, you know, she says her name, she introduces herself, former first lady. And she invited me to go over to Nigeria. And this was just before I turned 18. and. I was gobsmacked thinking, I've just been invited to go to, to Africa. Mind you, at that time, Nigeria, as a young person, I'd never even heard of. Yeah. Because I wasn't exposed to the, uh, to the world outside of the UK, because mm. my parents have never traveled. So to have accepted the invitation, flown over to Nigeria, landed in Lagos airport, collecting my luggage, first step I take outside the airport, I'm looking up. The first thing I saw when I stepped out of the airport was a massive billboard with my face on it. Wow, in how do you feel? Oh my God. You know, <laughs> to, about that. To, to understand that somebody values you that mm. much in life, it taught mm. me the meaning of purpose. Mm. You know, that when you leave this world, what will you be remembered for? And that's when I understood that whenever you inspire someone, whenever you change a person's mindset, mentality for them to come back, and this is what happened. I've been mean, spoken in front of three and a half thousand people. Mm. A young 18, 18, 19 year old guy flew over to London. Six months later, comes knocking on my door just to shake my hand and say, Sabrul, you've changed my life. Unbelievable. And that completely opened my eyes to thinking, why am I limiting myself in life to just mm. the UK? Mm. Why not go the rest of the world? Because mm. the world is your oyster. You are born into this world not just to do one thing. Mm. You're born with the millions of opportunities in this world. So mm. now let's embrace as many of those opportunities as possible mm. because there you understand value. Mm. You understand the meaning of why you're here. Mm. And that is so important. And having that's one opportunity in Nigeria completely changed my life. You know, Sabiru, I like I like it when you say that. Well, you tried stock um, 
and you you said to me just now that it wasn't for no, you. No, it wasn't for you me. You know, you tried that. It wasn't for you. started your business at 14 years of mm. age. I closed it at 16 because there, that question hit me. When you leave this world, what will you be remembered for? Exactly. And I don't want to be remembered as Sabir Islam, the web designer. That's mm. not me. In fact, I don't even know how to design a website. Mm. I got to understand the, what the meaning of power of people is. Mm. That you don't necessarily have to be a genius in life to mm. be able to be successful. Mm. It's about knowing the right people who you can bring into your life and say with their support with their help you can go on a journey with them mm -hmm. so i brought them together five six friends who were tech geniuses mm -hmm. leveraged off their skills to be able to run a successful business it's got clients all over the uk and it was absolutely phenomenal mind you nobody taught me any of this everything was through trial and error and i think people learn and understand more about themselves through taking risk and through understanding trial and error that you want to do something in life who's stopping you nobody it's only your mindset telling you that you cannot do something and you actually agreeing to it. Oh, I put up my hand and mm. say I cannot do something. No, you believe in yourself. And one thing I really want to emphasize on is parenting. Mm. When a parent tells a young person that I, for you to become successful in life, that you must have a piece of paper telling you that mm. without this university degree, you mm. are deemed unsuccessful. Mm. I don't think so. You do not need a piece of paper telling you you are excellent in mm. something. Having that belief, that confidence to stand up on your own two feet with the freedom to explore the world, to open your eyes and say, actually, maybe that wherever you're from in this world, your country, your community, your family is not supporting you, but there is someone halfway across the world who will absolutely cherish and admire the meaning and presence of your existence in this world. And those are the people you need to connect with. Because we look at technology, we've got young people all around the world on their phones, mm. on the internet. Connect with people who connect with your values mm. in life, your morals, your ethics. And those are the people who support you through thick and thin to make you successful. Unbelievable. You know, one of the reasons why we set, we set up the Africa Leadership Agenda is to offer another perspective to how leadership is being practiced on the continent and also to inspire young people. You know, I pretty much like what you said, that a lot of people are depending on a paper mm -hmm. To, 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 to determine their destiny mm -hmm. in this space. And you have actually looked beyond a, a piece of paper and you're doing amazing stuff with your Inspire One Million mm -hmm. um, project. Tell mm -hmm. me, how many countries have you been to this world? Well, the Inspire One Million, uh, funny enough, how I came about with that, about that was because of the Nigerian opportunity. Mm. Because the story behind it, when that guy flew over to, to London from Nigeria after six months, knocking on my door, shaking my hand, saying, you've changed my life. For a year, year and a half, it kept hitting me in my head. What can I do to impact people worldwide, to make a difference? That when I leave this world, I'll be remembered for having made a difference. Because there's a saying that money isn't all too difficult to make in this world. The real challenge is to be able to make a difference. Mm. Understanding what legacy means, mm. you know? And so I was working with a, a lot of people worldwide, getting connected, leveraging off networks like J Junior Chamber International, mm. JCI, absolutely phenomenal network. Mm. And I, you know, to embrace active citizenship in this you know, all around the world. And when I won the JCI 10 Outstanding Young Person of the World Award in Japan, in, mm. in Osaka, in 2010, there's about 4,000 people under the roof from 120 countries, and I leveraged oh, you off. you there in 2010? Yes, I was there, the toy honoree. Too. So to be the toy honoree and then to, to speak out and say, I want to go around the world, inspire at least 1 million people, and I just shouted out the words to the, in front of the audience, can you help me? Mm. And these are words which people fear. Yeah. You know, and some of the first country that jumped on board was in fact uh, the Maldives, the Maldives mm. in, in South Asia. Mm. And this was uh, organized by the, the, the JCI president in, in, in the Maldives. And mm. she put together a seven day campaign. I pitched the idea to her saying that I want to, in those seven days, speak at as many events as possible in the Maldives. Mm. We did 17 events in seven days. Then came on board JCI Botswana to host a, a, a huge, huge campaign in Botswana where mm. I did 43 events in 12 days in 10 cities. Wow. So did a 360 degree road trip across the entire country, hitting national papers, national television, reaching out to as many people in Botswana as possible. Mm. And then it kind of led on from one opportunity to another where I've now traveled to 26 countries, 63 international visits in the past two and a half years. I've reached out to just over 900,000 people and 1 million will be reached in February 2014. Wow. Finally, tell me Ooh. about this amazing game board this and i created <coughs> i it produced this at the age of 18 because mm. I, there's a saying in my book one of the books written there about the mm. cycle of success inspiration mm. is one thing and i inspire through the books and through my speaking mm. and uh, through various other mediums that i do but the game is to educate 
mm-hmm. educate young people on entrepreneurship, you run your own business, teaching mm-hmm. them about financial literacy. Because mm-hmm. in modern day society, when you give a young person money, mm-hmm. what do they go and do? Go buy themselves sweets, crisp drinks and spend. Mm-hmm. They never understand the meaning of saving. Mm-hmm. They never understand the meaning of budgeting and cash flow. Mm-hmm. So this, I created a game, a concept that teaches them fundamental aspects of business and enterprise and more importantly, financial literacy. Mm-hmm. And I sold to over 650 schools in the UK and wow. now in 14 countries around the world and has produced multiple different versions of this game for Mexico, for Zambia, for South Africa, for, for Bangladesh, for all sorts of countries, 14 different countries have these different versions made and uh, it's been an absolutely incredible ride and this I produced at the age of 18 with the help of six 11 to 15 year olds at the age of 18 he produced an amazing board game with the help of six to eleven uh, six eleven to fifteen year six to eleven fifteen year old anything is possible anything and everything my friends from wherever you're watching us from it's possible if you do not limit yourself to the capabilities and the amazing opportunities that is ahead of you. Thank you so very no, much, a pleasure. Sabiru Islam, for Thank coming you. on the Leaders Anchor Show, and I wish you all the best Thank in you everything much. that you do. Thank you very much.